This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Maytag washer that is either, either not getting any water or the water keeps flowing even when it's off or the water will flow with too much water when it's supposed to fill. And these can all be corrected with a new inlet water valve. The first thing we're going to do is turn off the water and we're going to use a pair of pliers to loosen up the hose connections on the back of the washer. I've unplugged the washer and moved it away, away from the wall a little bit. Uh, once I get the hoses off, I then remove one little nut or one little bolt to remove the assembly. And now I'm taking the uh, hose off of the old inlet valve and removing the wires. So I'm just putting uh, the hose clamp onto the rubber tube in preparation for the new water inlet valve. Here's the new one and I'm just going to push that in to that black rubber hose. This is what the new one looks like and it has these new solenoids. Sometimes they just get stuck and they won't won't let water in or they'll just water keeps coming in. So we get that into position and then we'll tighten that hose clamp so that it's a nice secure connection and then we'll go ahead and put the wires back on the two solenoids. The one on the top is for the cold and the one on the bottom away from me in this picture is for the hot. So I'm just going to slide these on and uh, you can put these on either way there's no polarity issue and the ones on the bottom, same thing. You can put on the white on either one of these terminals is fine and the blue on either one of the terminals. You want to get it on nice and securely. And then all we need to do is connect this housing to the new valve with a couple of little bolts that we took out in the beginning of the video. It wasn't able to show that, but they're really easy just to put those in. We're going to zip those in tight, and then there's actually just one bolt that holds that housing in position. It's probably take you 10 or 15 minutes, really an easy one. Just need a few tools. This is actually done on a Maytag washing machine that's commercial, so it has it's for a coin laundry, but this is the same type that is used at a household too, residential. So we're going to put that housing now into position and then add one little bolt to hold that in. The bottom part's held in by a tab and the top one's held in by one bolt. And then we're going to put the hoses back on, make sure you don't get them mixed up. Make sure you know which one's the hot and which one's the cold. And you want to do that carefully. You want to just put it on by hand very carefully. Make sure it's nice and straight. And it should spin on about maybe five or six turns really easily. And then you can use pliers near the end. But if it's really hard to put on right off the bat, it means it's cross-threaded or kind of crooked. So it's okay. Just come off of it and then try it again where the first five or six turns are really easy because the metal can actually damage the plastic threads. So it just should go on nice and easy, and then you can tighten it down. So we get those both on nice and secure, and we use the pliers near the end to give it maybe a quarter inch further of a turn to get it nice and tight. Don't want to go crazy tight because that, again, can damage the threads. And these are pretty cheap. This water inlet valve I saw on Amazon was for just 14 bucks. And it cures that problem of either no water coming in or water sneaking in even when, even when the washing machine is off. So we're turning the valves back on and then we're going to give it a try. It ended up doing fine and it ended up filling correctly and that solved the problem. So 
Hopefully that'll work for yours too. It's pretty easy to do. Again, shouldn't take you more than about 15 minutes. We're just plugging it, plugging it back in to give it a try. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.